So, uh, by the way, update for everyone who was wondering about the WWE 2K16 stuff, I will be continuing it. And some people are wondering, like, am I going to switch over to doing it on PC or what? Because the PC version comes out in, I think, a week or two. It doesn't have a release date, but it has a date when the 10% off sale ends. And that's usually correlates with when it comes out. Um... You bought Evil Genius after watching my stream on it on YouTube? Good. Evil Genius is my favorite game. Anyway, um, I'm not switching to doing the, the PC version, but I am buy I do have the PC version pre-ordered because um, it's way easier to play it online with people with that because I don't have online with my PS4. You have to pay for that, and I don't want to. Yeah. And more people I know have a PC than PS4. Anyway, so it's way more accessible that way. And if you buy the... Um, if you buy the PC version, it's the same price, but it also comes with every single DLC. Which means it comes with an entire extra campaign mode, like 30 extra wrestlers, something like 60 extra moves, like just a bunch of awesome shit. If you buy the PC version. Uh, so, yeah. And uh, that is when I'm going to start making a bunch of people I know in it and get back to putting on some videos of them wrestling each other because that would be fun. Because I haven't done that in forever, and I've been intending to for a long time. It's just I can't because this whole life situation thing. Uh, but I want to see if I can, because it's really fun doing that. So I'm going I'm to start doing that again sometime. And I'm going to be doing that on the PC version. But the, the playthrough on the streams and on YouTube, that's continuing on the PlayStation 4 version, because I, you know, I don't want to lose any progress. Uh, have you played Caves of Quid? Never heard of it. So, I'm considering taking off my jacket now, because the room has now gotten very hot. The heating has finally kicked in. I guess I'll take it off, because, uh, as awesome as I look in my jacket, I do have a Hitbox shirt on, so I still get You're to gonna keep... You're gonna jack it off? Yeah, I'm gonna jack it off, guys. <laughs> <laughs> jack it off time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, um, actually, uh, as soon as I think as soon as Stardew Valley was on Steam, I added it to my wish list. But I don't know uh, if Millie's on camera. I think what uh, I think what really like something really good about the game that I just liked was. Just watching the trailer, the sound effects for everything sound really satisfying. Yeah, I think that's really important. Like when you like chop wood and stuff, I like that. And like, uh, it looks like it's got like crafting mechanics that actually look like like they fit in the game. It's not just thrown in because you know, new video game need crafting. No, it looks like it actually fits in pretty well. Mhm. Mm All right, let's see if we can do better in court. Most worthy ladies and gentlemen, oh, shit. Luck, I declare the session to be open. I didn't know New Man's Sky actually had a release date. I'm too poor for life. That man's beard is floating off his face when he goes when he goes head on with the camera. His sideburns float off. <laughs> Did you see that? I didn't know that was. Why do you? I think I do actually. Because otherwise you will. You know, yeah, there it is. No, Brandon. I didn't know there was a game called New Man's Sky. Ooh. Stardew Valley was made by one guy. Doesn't surprise yeah. me. A lot of these games now are made We're by one person, and they're the awesome. I love your streams, Madrai. They're real fun. I like to think so. I like to think so. Someone else comes in. Fuck you. Your stream is blow. Oh, I didn't even realize I'm supposed to be voting for someone. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> Ed Edvin likes me the most. I'll vote for him. You always vote for whoever likes you the most, because they're the most likely to vote for you, too. Keep you in power. Thank you for your trust. So, yeah, that was the mayor, right? Because we have a mutual assistance pact the uh, with, uh, with uh, the bright green-wearing people. The nice. Person is running for office. Since there is only one candidate for this office in attendance... Uh, fast forward a little bit. I want to get to the point where we're at uh, my thing. Where we're voting for you. All right, all right. I think this is the one I'm going for. The following yep. All right. Can I beat Anna? 
Let's see. Oh, so far people are in my favor. Well, that'll change. Oh. She's threatening to kill everyone who doesn't vote for her. She's an old woman. She's not going to be able to kill anyone. She is 50. I am 44. See, you're younger. You can kill them a lot easier. You know, I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to bribe anyone. Because I don't think I need to. I think it's pretty confident that I've got all the votes here. The votes switch over. What? Fuck you! One guy voted for her anyway. Okay, they rolled the dice and I won. Sweet. Jesus. I hate that when it shows that they're gonna vote for you, but then they vote for someone else because of like a uh, mutual, because they're family usually. Either they have mutual assistance pact or they're family. So they vote for someone either than what it told you. Well, if they're gonna vote for that person, fucking tell me, you know? What time will the stream end? I don't know, Boom Boom. I don't know. Always the same question. Yep. Every single stream, literally, and I always have the same answer. I don't know. You should put that on your big, like, your whole, like, border thing that you've got set up here. Right above the chat, but below your camera, you should say, I don't know when the stream will end. Yeah, but then people are going to ask it just to think that they're ironic and funny. Yeah, people do that all the time anyway. I fucking hate that. <laughs> All right, um, yep, Charles walk into man. here, and so we got that public office, um, the next level is trying to go up against a guy that we have a mutual assistance pact with, and who votes on that? The only person who decides that is the mayor, and the mayor is of the same family, which means we basically can't get that rank. Can I jump Damn. over to the other side of the tree and go, um... Uh, Inquisitor, I can't. Oh, in fact, I can go for Colonel because this is such a close together court. I can apply for Colonel on the other side, which is still a rank higher, and that one doesn't have the competition of someone within the family of the mayor. So I've got a solid chance of getting that because the mayor votes on that, and I have a mutual assistance pact with the mayor. I'm gonna have to stab the mayor in the back, possibly literally though. <laughs> if I can make it so the mayor doesn't show up to court on the day that I apply for office as the mayor, I'll win by default. So, if I were to say, kidnap him, <laughs> then I would be the mayor. <laughs> I would have to break the so. mutual assistance pack to do that. What? We'll wait, Why? we'll wait and see, we'll wait, we'll wait and see. I Why could, would you have to break the pact? I could what? just, uh... What, use like a spinning needle and put him to sleep or something, you know? Like, just, what, what just do they have in the bubbles? Him, just invite him over for tea, and then when he gets into your house, get rid of your door. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Set the house on fire. <laughs> when he gets into the swimming pool, delete the ladder. <laughs> he died in a tragic house fire. Uh... God damn it, do they really have no letters to roam in here? The city sucks. They do have a spinning <laughs> wheel, but it doesn't work all the time. Um, I just want one of those pieces of paper where you use it and make someone hate them, because uh, you can, like, forge a letter that says, like, you're a dick, and then I give it. I can give it to the mayor and be like, hey, this guy says you're a dick, and so he hates him, but he already likes me to guarantee he votes for me, you know? But it's a I have a mutual assistance pact, so I think... I'll win. It's a letter, so, and I, all it says on it is, ha ha ha, you're dumb. <laughs> yeah, he had to write an apology for it. <laughs> the Pope has to write an apology for the letter to Rome. <laughs> the, the Catholic Church gets shut down the next week until they can revise their messaging system. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't get what we're talking about, check out the rest of the the Guild 2 playlist on YouTube. And uh, we, it was a great story with Brandon. Yeah. You know, you know, the funny thing is, I was just talking to uh, about that to him before we started streaming. Oh. <laughs> it was fresh in my mind. It's a great story. It's I a actually, story. Um, I ended up. Um, making individual videos of each one of the stories we told on that stream. 
and I think I'll upload them in bulk one day, just so that people can easily refer back to those. Nice. They want something funny to look at. Alright. Uh, Alright, we still have, have any Imperial fame, do we? No, just a lot of guild reputation. Also, I have a ringing phone that I'm going to ignore because it's across the room, and hopefully the microphone doesn't hear it if I talk over it like this. And it's long distance anyway, so I wouldn't pick up. Fuck paying that. Alright, I forgot I had this rum here forever that I could have been selling. Has been renovated. Way to go. I also forgot that we called our hedge tavern the Man Bar, which is a great bar name. How did you forget that? I'm um, the dumb. I name everything it's Man Bar. Earlier today I was playing, um... Earlier today I was playing Thea, The Awakening, and I got an orc dude, uh, and he was fucking awesome, and I had him in, like, armor so he's damn near invincible, and I named him Man Bar. And then I got a second one out of sheer luck, and I named him Godfrey. Because Brandon's nice. always a warrior in my games. No, you should have called him Godbar. The sales I should have. Should have called him Butt Stuff. <laughs> Would you name your children Manbar? Uh, IRL? <laughs> no. <laughs> should have named him Manbar 2. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In No, in real life, I'll name my kids Manbar and Manbar 2. <laughs> no, I'll name them Man Bar 2 and Man Bar B so that they both feel like the inferior one. <laughs> Didn't know how it was possible, kids, but you're both second best. <laughs> oh, that's the way you fuck up the kid. And then whenever you're mad at them, you start yelling at them, and they both think that they're both in trouble? Yep. But then you say either but B or But they are actually both in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> because why not? They're not even twins, they're like 20 years apart. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't be in charge of having children. <laughs> if you have a girl, would she be man bar? No. Or woman bar? No. <laughs> <laughs> she be man bar B. Uh, I've discussed kid names with Fatima a thousand times. She always comes up with terrible ones, and then I'm like, that's terrible, and she's like, it's not that it's bad, and then my mom was like, no, gotta side with, uh, gotta side with Mo on this one. That's terrible. <laughs> so at least, at least she agrees that it's fucking, she's, that Fatima's got the worst fucking suggestions. Every time I come up with a suggestion, I'll... All she can say is, like, that it's good. So, apparently I'm good with coming up with names, and she isn't. So, it's still going to be democracy on the kids' names. It's probably going to be something I pick. For the family. One day you need to just su suggest Manbar just to see if, if it's... <laughs> it's good? Well, you know it's good. Yeah. <laughs> you'd be like, what if we name our kid Manbar? And she'd be like, oh, that's really good. And you'd be like, Victory's good, out. done. Sign yeah. this piece of paper. Well, Don't it's not. See, that's the thing, though. She would know it's a joke because she she knows the show. She watches the show, just not like constantly because she's busy with work. Like she she silently watches the stream sometimes. She isn't in. So right you've now. got. So you get your two kids, Man Bar Two and Jawala Halahulahi. Yeah, <laughs> and I forgot about Jawala Halahulahi. That's that was for my 100 subscriber, uh, fan video. Mm hmm That's how long ago that was. That was, um... Nearly six years ago. It was Jawala Halahula here. When I got my 100 subscribers, that was, like, a few years ago. And you now I have You weren't even 200. making fucking videos at the time. You've just got the trickle-down effect of a flash trash over these years. Yeah. People keep coming over and they'll subscribe to my channel and then they'll stay. I've had people yeah. comment and be like, Whoa, you're making videos? And I'm like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, Yep. Will the challenger be elected? Yes. It's happening. Wow, did you remember that your channel exists? <laughs> right, I'm just going to compliment some random person in the room. 
I'm just the worst at advertising, so nobody new finds my channel. Yeah. Let it be so. Oh, okay, didn't get to compliment any one time. Well, whatever. I think I've got this one in the bag because the tech mutual assistance. My name is Samuel Skywalker. The All right. Candidates are in uh, wait, what, what position is it? Mayor first? Mayor first. So, uh, they both like me the Why same, you feel you can still serve the council but now? it looks like Edvin's winning for sure. Quite I might as well simple, vote for Edvin then. I had the key to Even though the I'm, I'm trying to take the position from Edvin. And he's threatening to, ki to kill people again. I allow you a short rest <laughs> <laughs> just what a wonderful thing. Oh, I'm just saying, oh, man, he's just threatening to kill people again. Alright, well, there's the nothing I can do to swing the vote, so I'm going to vote for him anyway to stay on his good side. But I'm going to have to, uh... I'm going to have to apply for the position and figure something out uh, to take the position. See, the Thank thing is, though, trust. if anyone else in his family then applies for my position once I become mayor, it. they'll win because there's so much. There's so many people of that family in the court, they would overrule everyone else. So, so we're just I might not... have to just take down the whole family, like, really give them the boot. Like, do something to really fuck them up. Why do you feel you we're just not going to talk about that woman in the background. Oh god, I know it! <laughs> that happens a lot in this game where the pathfinding fucks up when they're all trying to find their seat. I've had people sit in the center of the table before. <laughs> oh, it's just bad. All right. Tell them it's somebody. Tell them that you're gonna kill all of them if they don't vote for me. <laughs> you can only Except do that if you're defending your own uh, position. Thank you well, the motherfucker who has a mutual system patch with me that says you have to vote for me didn't vote for me. I see how it is. Fuck that guy. What a dick. Yeah. God damn. Well, All right. Fast forward to through this. Now. I mean, you have to kill them all now, obviously. I may. I may kill them all. <laughs> oh, let me just get my combat stats up real quick. All right, that ends today's session. Okay, martial arts skill. Just bump that up. I want more dexterity for dodging shots, too. Well, my constitution is so ridiculous, I don't know if they'd be able to kill me. Um, well, first of all, immediately go apply for office again. Charles Blythe. Wrestle them to death in, uh, in one by one in the night. Yeah, I'll start. I'll do it Dwarf Fortress style. Just start quietly sleeper holds during the night until everyone dies. Uh, how many uh, years a uh, day or round? Uh, we have it set to... It's either one or two, I don't remember, per round. Um, unrelated statement, Dungeon Keeper is awesome. Yeah, Dungeon Keeper 1 and 2 are awesome. And then they like made a new one recently that was like a mobile game and apparently it was shit. Yeah, isn't that the one where you have to, like it's like you have to pay for a lot of stuff? I like think a lot so. Of micro microtransactions? Yeah, like all that fucking sure. bullshit. I already have an alderman's chain. Um. Okay, uh, insult someone. Insult the guy I'm trying to take the position of. Look at that. See, now I'll have to, I just gotta keep coming to your streams, because every time I come to your stream, I get, like, a good couple subscribers from it. Yeah. I just got just one, it's Shadowbolt, he was asking me questions earlier, the chat. We shall meet tomorrow to duel on the he wanted to know when honor. Pokemon Gold was coming back. All right, he challenged me to a duel. So I was partly him? hoping, yeah, I was partly hoping that he was gonna back down and I would just beat him in the vote because people lose respect for him. Because uh, I am not as good a fighter as my other character. However, uh, fuck it, I'll give it a try. I've got good combat stats. It's just, it's not amazing. My health is astonishing. Let me just go to the doctor and get patched up real quick because the duel is gonna be pretty early in the morning. All right, come on, heal him up fast. Okay, good, I'm healed up. That was 
sheep tail. A settlement is developed and just walk into the church. Right under its charter. Oh, that wasn't the church, uh, isn't there? No, that, was a, that was a hospital. Uh, city of London is now a free city, which means it got bigger. Where is the uh, dueling area in Bergen? I actually don't know. It's usually by the docks, I think. Uh, no, it's not looking like it. Site of execution. Um, dungeon. Is it up by there? The they want to know what difficulty you're playing on. Uh, here we go. I think this is the dueling ground. Uh, just the standard. All right, I'll come here and wait for the duel ahead of time. <laughs> just gonna stand here and wait. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck that guy up. Just polishing your gun. I'm armed. Victory is now, when you duel in the game, it's actually like you duel with like pistols, I assume. Uh, in Renaissance, yeah. In in the older versions of the game, you'd have a sword duel, but in Renaissance, it's a flintlock pistol duel, and mm. um, it's a turn-based thing where the first person uh, to shoot is either whoever has the most dexterity, I believe it is, or uh, whoever cheats. You can cheat and only take nine steps instead of ten. However, if you cheat. Then after the duel, if you if you survive, the medic won't patch up your bullet wound. Well, oh. um, and you can either make quick shots, aim shots, or a uh, quick shot, aim shot, defensive stance, or insult. Uh, quick shot is just a quick shot. Uh, aim shot is a highly accurate and stronger shot. Um, but I believe it. I think it always shoots second. Maybe I don't know. Um. Insult lowers the enemy's accuracy if you're successful. That goes by rhetoric. Um, but you lose your turn to shoot, so if you're intending to kill the guy, you'd never use that. And defensive stance increases your chance to dodge. So if you're just trying to... If you've been challenged to a duel and you don't think you can win, you just go like defensive stance and use rhetoric and stuff. Uh, but if you're, if you're trying to goat them into a duel like I did, uh, you just fucking aim shot every turn, see if you can just wipe them out. Now they're talking about Yu-Gi-Oh cards and the 5Ds. <laughs> Good. All six of the 5Ds. <laughs> <laughs> that episode is really good. Like, watching back on it, it held up really well. The, uh... Because the first thing that came up was that you duel with Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So, is that the only negative thing to cheating, is that you can, you just don't get patched up? Yeah. Um, that's so why on my, on my Scholar one, because my dexterity is like 12 on my Scholar, I cheat every single time, because I don't get hit. <laughs> so, and even if I get hit, I have so much health that I can just go to the doctor, spend this piddly amount of money, and get patched up. In fact, I own well, the yeah. fucking hospital in that file. Your seat of office is in danger. I hope they got all the lights on. Uh, there's another duel going on first. Well, let's watch this duel then. Hey, that's the it's... woman who was almost dead earlier. Yeah, she hates my guts. She's uh, another rogue family. Maybe she'll die in this duel. I hope so. Maybe you should just shoot everyone in the duel so that they die so you'll never have to duel them yourself. <laughs> Any last words? Kabang! Damn it, I misfired. Yep. He misfired and hit the judge, who barely got hurt for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Duels in this game look a little bit lame. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed. They're standing there just holding their hip and pointing the guns at each other. Talking for a century between shots. Well, they have to reload, which takes forever. To be now fair, she's yeah. waving her gun around. Yeah, that's to show that she was, uh, that the rhetoric worked and her accuracy went get it down because she freaked out. Well, she probably lost the bullet, too. Probably flew out of the end of the gun. No, there's gonna be no more shooting. This, this is, is some stand. shitty banter. <laughs> oh, the laughing is my that favorite. That was the fucking lamest duel in the world. The only one who got hit was the judge. <laughs> <laughs> the duel's <laughs> over. I think, I think what happened is they forgot to reload the second shot, so they were just pretending. <laughs> they, it was the last turn, and they both used rhetoric instead of a bullet. 
<laughs> yeah, lower their accuracy. That'll come in handy in the last round of the fight. So who wins? Nobody? Um, I believe no one won because neither of them fucking hit each other. <laughs> <laughs> what a shitty fucking duel. Is it? Is my duel next? Let me check. My duel's at 5 a.m., what? My duel's scheduled for next year? Fucking song. why? God damn it. <laughs> yeah, but isn't every day a year? Yes, my duel was scheduled for next year because that one was more important. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> That's bullshit. That is bullshit. So, uh, chat, I'm curious, because I've, I've been getting overwhelmingly positive responses in the YouTube comments about TAD, the, the phone application, you can watch the advertisements to get me paid. So, chat, sound off. If you've been using TAD, let me know in the chat, and let me know if you've had any issues with it, like if you've had buffering issues, or if the application doesn't run well, because, um... It runs, it's run really well for me, and it's run really well for basically everyone who's given me feedback so far, but I want to know more about it. Um, also, I have had a few minor buffering issues. Um, like, last week when I tested it, I had some buffering issues, but it seems like they've resolved that now. I haven't had buffering since. It's awesome. Uh, never used it. Can it be used on PC? He's working, the guy who works on it. Uh, I told him he should make, like, a, um, a just a browser page version, and he said that is something that they're planning on working on. It's just a small team doing it. Right now, it only works on um, Android and Apple phones and tablets. And it's just, like, an application you download for free. Uh, never used it. No issues. No issue. No issue. Works fine. No issue. Using it right now. Thank you, Metalizer. Um, been using Tad. It's okay using with no problems not available in argentina that's unfortunate um what are we talking about? we're talking about tad uh kaipon i haven't heard from you in a while so i don't know if you missed it. i put up some vlogs on tad it's a phone application where you can watch advertisements and it gets me paid every advertisement's worth between 30 and 80 tad points a thousand tad points are one us dollar so you watch like a 10 second ad or at least 10 seconds of a 30 second ad um and it will earn points for me. And uh, because a thousand points is a dollar, and about a thousand views is about a buck twenty on YouTube, every time you watch about ten seconds of one of those ads is equivalent to watching about uh, fucking two hundred to three hundred of my videos, depending on how long and how high earning the advertisement is. So yeah. Um. Mm. I'll be using it after an update, plan on getting it later. When I get a new phone, I will. Using it right now. Thank you. All right, just making sure. Watch, got about 4,800 ads during uh, Raw on Monday. Raw is a long show, but thank you very much for that, because that's like almost five bucks right now, and when you translate the, that to Canadian, that's like almost 500 bucks. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Tatan is like a really cool thing. It's really fucking awesome. I'm happy that I, I only heard about it because the guy who made it emailed me on my business email. Uh, which is just the I heard one you that's talk about on YouTube. It. Yeah, I put some vlogs on. I heard you on talk it. about it. And it's really thought good. I would check it out. Um, it's incredible. Like, if it ends up, like, if I keep getting the income that I did from the first two days of people using it, then uh, not only will it more than double my in my income if people keep using it at that same speed, not more or less. Not only will it more than double my income. Um, Tad will then be the highest earning thing that gets me any money. Uh, it will be more than all my other three sources of income combined, those being Hitbox, YouTube, and Patreon. Uh, in fact, if people keep using Tad at the same speed they did those two days, uh, I will finally be living above the poverty line. And if it picks up above that, I might even have the fucking income to get a two-bedroom apartment. That is how drastic the income is on Tad. I didn't think anyone wow. would fucking care about using it. Because people hate advertisements so much that they don't... They, they use Adblock. And then I, there's an application where you can just watch ads. And all these people are like, 
yeah, I just downloaded it and I just click it on the background with it muted and I don't actually watch it. I just click some ads and then like I get paid for it a lot more oh. than YouTube. So I might actually be if if it gets popular, then if you combine that with my other sources of income, I may actually be making above minimum wage. Right now I'm half of minimum wage, which sucks. See, I probably have Tad too, but I don't know how to sign up for it, so like have one attached to your thing um yeah. you uh you have to send them an application and i don't know how to do it um because they're hard to google because they don't have a website they do um, have a website well they got a website with a super bare bones i know there's some way you yeah. can send in an application i know it because he emailed me and personally set up the account with me it's it's upgraded. very early in development. There's still like a lot of polishing that needs to be done with Tad. Like I said before, um, they're still planning on um, what was it? They're they're still planning stuff with it where they want to get like a web page and everything for it and have it so like you can use your computer to watch ads. Um, right now it's super bare bones. Basically anything you can do in it, you can only do in the application. Uh. And you don't even, like, own an account. Like, I literally only know my financial figures on it because the guy emails me every week and tells me. Like, he just has an emailing list set up with me on it. There's no, like, webpage I can go to to check it every day to see the update. It's it's really early in its development, and it's already really good. Yeah. Um, so well, I'm kind of getting like in it. on the ground floor of this thing. I can see this thing time. really taking off because, like... I can see people being skeptical at first, like, I was a little skeptical at first, but then, like, literally when I, I tested it pretty much silently for, like, a month, where, like, I just had, like, a few fans test it, and everyone said it worked okay, it's like, alright, I'll give it an official thing, I'll make a video on it. I just made a video, like, talking about it in passing, and then made another video just saying what it is real quickly and how to get it. And over the course of the two days, I make, like, $83 American. Huh? And so it's like, that's fucking incredible, like... If big YouTube channels were to make a video oh, saying, hey, I have a tad, here's what it is, it's just a fucking free money button at that point. Like, if a big channel were to adopt that and put it out there, I would wager that if they had one million subscribers and they put that out there, they would make... Let's say they get 200,000 videos on their newest video every single day. Then, fucking, like, if Game Grumps had a tad account and they put it out, then the first day at like the first 24 hours since that video goes up they would probably make like easily three hundred thousand dollars to five hundred thousand dollars just that day the income you can get off the crazy fan support of tad is fucking incredible so i might well, yeah, actually be do, above right? minimum wage i might actually have an income representative of a college graduate getting into their first job if this gets popular. Like, people, like, for instance, someone earlier in the chat, I forget who it was now, which I'm sure they'll remind me, uh, said that they had, like, just under 5,000 tads earned for me today. You could have watched every single video on my channel and not earned that much. I have 3,017 videos on my channel. You could have watched all of them, and it would have earned less money for me than what you just did watching Monday Night Raw, which is a three-hour really, show. You're really easy to find on Tad, too. I just went, I clicked uh, Find Creator. Um, yeah, I'm near the top. And I scrolled probably for maybe a minute or two, and there yeah, it is. I often, I'm often near the top. I also show up next to here. They call me constantly out of coincidence, which I think is funny because we have a podcast together. Yeah, I'm on your next to him. Yeah, most, we're like the only gaming YouTubers on the fucking thing, I think. Almost everyone's like a beauty channel or a blogger. Apparently, you said... Far From Subtle is on there. They are? Yep. Oh my god, did they just show up? Because I made a comment on Far From Subtle on their newest video talking about Tad and how much it helped me. I bet you they just made that account yesterday oh, after seeing my comment, because I know Fraser so reads the comments, and my comments show up automatically Next through the filtering the system because I'm a turbo. I bet you he made that because of me. You better give me props for that. The hey, candidates. 
are in if you want to support Far From Subtle, do it. It's my favorite YouTube channel. They're fucking awesome. Are entitled to vote. I watch them constantly. Brandon was for Tad 2016? I was just watching, uh, in fact, before doing the stream, I was, well, I was watching Super Factor's hitbox stream, but before that, I was re-watching their playlist of their day one release stream of getting the Xbox One, and it was a bricked system, and they had to get a new one live on stream because it died. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah. Have you gotten the money through the app yet? I just want to know uh, what I'm doing is actually helping. Yeah, yeah. Um, what I'm talking about when I say, like, the $83 on the first two days, uh, Tad actually pays you weekly. I thought it paid you monthly. I was wrong. It actually pays you wow. weekly, which is great because, like, YouTube, Patreon, Hitbox, all those things pay you monthly. Um, at the end of every week when I get my financial report, uh, I get paid later that day. So the $83 that it said I earned, I literally got $83.53 or 57 cents, whatever the cents were, that literally showed up in my PayPal account later that day. Uh, it was on like a three hour delay, which is not bad at all. That is so much better than any other site I've ever used. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they are able to process the money that fast, because usually that kind of shit takes a long time. All right, it looks like I'm going to be voted in, hopefully. I'm just going to do a small bribe. A small bribe of uh, 12,000 gold. Someone lets you bribe them. Let us proceed with I swear to God, if this fucker doesn't vote for me. Let's see. He voted for me. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Jesus Christ. The mayor isn't Jesus Christ. So I'm the colonel now. I think colonel might have diplomatic immunity. Which means I might start playing like an absolute asshole. Let us now debate about the following seat of office. I may go around killing people in the streets. I mean, the town guard is fucking worthless anyway, right? All right, Anna gets a free promotion because no one was in whatever seat she was going for. Taken office. All right, I've taken office. Uh, I do not have diplomatic immunity, but I do control the town guard now. I should get the town guard to kill everyone. Hmm? I think I can. Let me just... Oh, I can't. Okay. They have to be hostile for me to sick the town guard on them. Alright, let me just uh, upgrade some more of these camps to start really raking in the cash. That one's already upgraded, That's my favorite right? yeah. question. That's my favorite question that comes up in the chat because it is probably one of the dumbest. <laughs> what? Do you recommend this game? Yeah, I never understand why people ask that. Like, I, I'm the first result on YouTube when you search the Guild 2 Renaissance. Like, that's that's why people watch the stream. A lot of people find me through the Guild 2 Renaissance. Every time the game goes on sale for, like, two bucks or something, everyone looks up a tutorial on it, so they find my series. So I'm the first result on YouTube in English. Yeah, I recommend this game. Like, it's janky as fuck, but I genuinely really enjoy this. How many hours do I have? I've got... Um, 130 hours on this game. I really genuinely enjoy this game, and I'm pumped for the Guild 3. It comes out this year. They haven't put a date. They've just said 2016. And when it comes out, uh, fuck yeah, I'm doing videos on it. I'm pumped. It looks great. It's being made from the ground up by Nordic Games, so the game engine's gonna be a lot better. Nordic Games is a, not like a AAA company, but a pretty big one. They have a good track record of great games, and they, they often publish janky old classic games that I'm really into. Like, they, they... The games they develop are all good, and the games they publish are usually, like, old-school strategy games that I'm really into, that kind of flew under the radar. So if you look at their publish list on on um, on Steam, and you're into the games that I'm into, you might really like a lot of the stuff on their publish list. Divide and yes! Well, now we all know that Sparta let the dogs out. <laughs> 